What's up, what's up? Happy Tuesday, hope you guys are doing great. Wanted to bring you your weekly real estate update. We are seeing some stagnation for the most part in the, in the real estate market here in Omaha. A few markets are being affected, but uh, we're seeing a number of homes still going to contract each week. Almost half of whatever comes on the market will go off the market in those first seven days. Our average days of market is still staying around that three to four range for, new, for the new homes that come on. So that's super quick. What does that mean for us as a public? It means that uh, when you put a house in the market, if it's priced accordingly and fair, it most likely will move regardless of price point. Now, what gets interesting is when houses stand out even longer than five to seven days, generally that means the pricing issue, not a condition issue, because the market is so receptive of new inventory coming on the market. Now, one thing that to note is that there are a number of new construction homes in the market, actually. There are far more new construction uh, homes available than previously owned homes. What does that mean? Well, the the average price of a new construction home is about fifty to $60,000 more than a pre-owned home. So yes, pre-owned is more affordable, but most people are trying to move up or moving out of their current situation or are looking for something new, but they might not necessarily be able to afford it because it has gotten so high and now those houses might be sitting longer. Well, what can we do to combat this? Well, let's talk about a negotiation strategy that I would recommend just quickly. One thing that I like to see is, let's say when you're going into a competitive offer situation and there's multiple people bidding on a house that weekend and you don't get it, and you had to go up against everybody, you're forcing your best price to the top, and you still come out empty-handed. One thing you can kind of do is take a step back from the market in the sense that, hey, I'm not necessarily gonna look at the red ocean or where everybody's going with their money and with all the great houses, I'm gonna see what houses make it through the weekend that might be slightly priced out of your price range, might be a little bit higher. And what does that mean for you? So if we look at, let's say your price point's 400,000, but we're looking at maybe a 415, 420, and that actually made it through the weekend, largely that means that house is probably overpriced and that seller maybe had unrealistic expectations and needed a few days in the market or a week to realize they might have priced their home in a, you know, ineffectively. So now you can come in on that Monday or Tuesday the next week when that seller's like, well, why is my house sold yet? And you come in and you offer your price that you feel fair for that home, 15, 20, $30,000 on a list price. And now you have time to negotiate that seller and that seller wants the home sold because they don't wanna be left behind and miss this market. And they still feel like they won a long run because hey, now we got it sold, it's on a contract, but they had time to negotiate with you as a buyer. You got the house you wanted and it was even slightly out of your price range to begin with, but you can negotiate them down into your price range. So something to think about when you go into the market, especially when it's as competitive as it is, and a technique that we like to use that is highly effective you just gotta know how to maneuver in it. Also, we always recommend being actually prepared for the market, getting your uh, financials in order to know what your buying power is and what you're comfortable with in regards to your goals financially when purchasing and owning a home. So if you have any questions about this, I'd love to help you. Please click the link below, set up a meeting with me. We can get your house on the market and price accordingly to sell, as well as get you in the market on the buy side. This market benefits a lot of different groups of people. We just gotta know your situation a little bit better. I hope you have a great week. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Don't forget to uh, click the link below if you have any questions or hit me up personally. Have a great day.